In a previous video, we learned that cell potential is dependent on the concentrations of reactants and products. What this means is that we can construct an electrochemical cell out of half cells with the same half reactions, but that they differ in the concentration of the reactants or products. This is known as a concentration cell. So for example, we could have an electrochemical cell in which the two half reactions or half cells involve the copper 2 plus copper half reaction, but the copper ions in each half cell will have different concentrations. Since the two half cells are identical, the standard cell potential will always be zero, since the standard reduction potentials will always be the same. However, since the half cells have different concentrations, there will be a spontaneous redox reaction to balance the concentrations and the cell potential will be positive. This will happen in such a way that the half cell with a larger ion concentration will undergo reduction to decrease the ion concentration and the half cell with a smaller ion concentration will undergo oxidation to increase the ion concentration. We can calculate the cell potential using the modified Nernst equation, but in this case, instead of taking just log of Q, we would usually substitute this for log of the dilute ion concentration divided by the concentrated ion concentration. In the cell described above, this would give us the modified Nernst equation of 0, 0.00 volts minus 0 0.0592 divided by two multiplied by the log of 0 0.25 divided by 2.5, which gives us a cell potential for this copper, copper 2 plus concentration cell of plus 0 0.296 volts. After watching this video, you should be able to describe how a concentration cell works. You should also be able to use the Nernst equation to calculate the cell potential for a concentration cell.